this to the right here. This would be the better way to do it. <laughs> okay, so the domain is all real numbers. Now, are, are you going like minus infinity to infinity or are you just writing out all real numbers in your class? Um, We're doing like the, uh, well, I think we're doing the we're doing the infinity like that. We're writing like some kind of Roman numeral or whatever it is. Okay, why don't you write this down? Mm -hmm. You want to erase what you have there? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna need uh the oh, let me just go get my my eraser uh, on my pencil okay. is not that good. Okay. Let me just get my eraser. All right, sounds good. Okay. Let me know when you've got that. Uh... Yep, I'm. I'm. I got it down. Got it down. All right. So, uh, the do, do you see a maximum or a minimum in this picture on the right here? Yeah. Which of those dots is the maximum and which one's the minimum? Uh, the maximum is going to be um, the maximum is a uh, negative 0 0.869,006.065. Okay. So we can say the max is minus 0.869 comma 6.065. Mm -hmm. Any questions on that? I'm writing that down. Okay. 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 All right, so the third question says to identify the decreasing interval. What what do you remember about decreasing? Decreasing is the one uh, that is lower than the x value. If it's lower from the x value. It's when the graph is going down and to the right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm gonna I'm gonna break the graph up into three regions. Region one, region two, region three. Is it 
Okay, it's going to be a down. So 1.535 thousand and negative 0 0.879. That's not what I'm asking. You've got to try to follow what I'm asking. Um, hmm. On the graph here, is it going down and to the right in region number one? Yeah. Is mm -hmm. um to me it looks like it's going up and to the right. Okay. But but do you see it differently? Um yes, I see it differently. Okay. Well, imagine you were standing here walking. Are you going uphill or downhill? Uphill or downhill? You're going downhill. Oh, wait, no, you're going uphill. I, I just saw that. Okay. So decreasing is, is downhill. What about in region two? For region two, you're going down. Okay. So region two is where you're decreasing. What are the X values, just the X values in region two? Mm. Okay, the X values for that, mm -hmm. that's gonna be, um, Okay, that that's gonna be it's going down, so it might be uh, um, it's it's down. What are the x values in region two? Yeah, uh, one point five three five thousand and negative zero point eight seven nine. What is the leftmost x value of region two where this red line is? Um, negative zero point eight six nine thousand and six point zero six five. Okay. So negative 0.869, and then what's the rightmost x value? 1.535. Okay, there it is. Okay. You know when you get all that down, please. Yep. I'm getting that down. Okay, got it down. All right, so let's look at the next problem here. Okay. Says to state, state the end behavior. So let's, let's first look as X goes to infinity, 
that's that's over that's over here where the red dot is okay is that rising or is that falling Uh, that's, um, it's going at, uh, to the right. That's not what I asked. I asked, is the red dot, is it rising or is it falling? Do you understand the difference between rising and falling? Yes. Okay. So it's rising. Why is it rising? Because you can see the arrow right there, it's going up. Okay, so when it's rising, you say that f of x is going to infinity. This this means rising, this next part here. Uh -huh. All right, now we're going to go as x goes to negative infinity. And we'll do that in blue. Blue is over here. Is the graph rising or falling? Is the graph rising or falling? It's falling. Falling. So falling means negative infinity. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and get that down. Yep. Please. Okay, let me just get that down. Okay, got down. Okay, we'll look at the uh, next one here. Um, it says to identify the y intercept. The y intercept. Identify the y intercept. Okay. Where it crosses the y axis. Mm hmm. Where does it cross the y axis? It crosses, uh, where does it cross the y axis? Mm -hmm. It crosses the y axis um, through. Um, through um, the. Four. OK. 
Okay, what is the ordered pair there? Mm -hmm. Four zero. That is not correct. Zero four. Why is it zero four? What comes first, X or Y? Y. No, X comes before Y in the alphabet and in ordered pairs. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's try uh, number six. Okay, X intercepts slash zeros. Uh, intercepts are where it crosses the X axis. Again, yeah. we want these as ordered pairs, ordered pairs. Mm -hmm. The order pairs, okay. So where it crosses the um the x axis. Can you go back up for a minute? Okay, thanks. Okay, let's go down. Negative two, zero. Okay, that's one of them. What's another? One, zero, two, zero. All right, very good. Yep. All right. Number seven. Hold on, I, I have to be able to write them down. Okay. It's number seven. It says to draw the secant line. Yep. Okay. So when X is negative two, it hits the graph right there. And when X is zero, it hits the graph right there. Can you give me those two ordered pairs, please? Yeah. Okay. Second line from X uh, equals negative. That's going to be for that right there. Um, two zero four A. That is not correct. What? And we actually already did this in the previous two problems. Well, I was thinking that we have to be able to switch to the negative for the negative two to the positive. Go That's ahead a negative. Give me the coordinates for A and B, please. Negative two zero. Four or zero four. All right, very good. Now the secant line is the line that connects. A and B. So you got to draw something like that on your on your graph. Okay.
Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, so for number eight, you've just got to find the slope from A to B. Okay. So go ahead and calculate that for us, please. All right. Now what we need to do Negative two. Not negative two. What number did you use for Y2? Uh, four. Okay. What number did you use for Y1? Zero. Okay. What number did you use for X2? Negative two. Okay. So you, you, you said four, though, was Y2. So four is Y2. That's X2. So go ahead and re recalculate. Okay.
Zero. No, it is not zero. What? What number is X2? X2 is zero. Okay. What is X1? X1. Mm -hmm. X1 is another zero. Are you even looking at my screen? Yes. I, I didn't put X1 under zero. Um, negative two. Okay. Can you try to simplify that in the next 11 minutes? Yeah. Okay. All right, Sarish, I'm going to end the lesson here. Um, All right, I'm, I, I got it. I got the answer no, no, now. No, no, not acceptable. Um, it shouldn't take you more than, I don't know, a minute. We've been doing.